So you just got your sterling, maybe it's on its way, or you're planning to buy one. Whichever the case is, it's great that you're doing your research beforehand. And for you, this guide should be perfect. So here's how we set up our sterling satellite system, from setting up the base to going online. So let's dive right in. The model we have is standard, non-actuated, but you can follow this setup regardless of which model you have. Now, your dish may come with a kickstand pre-installed, and if you wish, you can just pop up the kickstand and then leave it on the ground or a rooftop and call it a day. But if you want to set it up on your RV or on the rooftop, then you'll need to have a separate stand that suits your need. To install this stand, first you need to take the kickstand off. And you can easily do that by grabbing the handle like this and push it upwards. It will come off very easily. After taking off the included kickstand, you can attach your separate mount. First, attach the metal pipes to the stand and the mounting bracket. Now we'll need to channel the Ethernet cable through this hole and take it out through the other end. Then attach the Ethernet port to your Sterling dish. And after that we will attach the mounting bracket by aligning it and pushing it into place. Now we'll attach the lower part or the mounting part of the stand, then secure it using the knob. And as you can see, there's two different adjustment knobs. The one at the bottom will allow you to adjust your antenna's angle, and if you loosen the upper one and change the way it's facing. If you have an actuated mount, then you don't need to worry about this. In that case, you'll also have a power cord that you need to attach. Now put your antenna somewhere with no obstructions around it. And then we can attach the Ethernet cable to our Sterling Wi-Fi router. But for you, this should be indoor. Also, make sure to attach the power cord to your router and turn it on. Now that everything is connected together, we will need to install the Sterling app on our smartphone. And it's available on both the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store. After opening the Sterling app, we will select Start Setup and then choose our model. Then tap on Check for Obstructions and in this step we will scan the sky and try to move around and collect all the green dots. When it reaches 100%, you'll get an overview and you'll be able to check if there's any obstructions around. If there isn't, then place your antenna where you're standing, if it's not there already. And as you can see here, there's no estimated obstructions and we should have good experience across all networking features. Then we'll ask you to install a mount, which we already did, so we'll tap on mount is installed. And also we have attached the Sterling to the router. So let's select that. And now we'll simply need to connect to our Sterling Wi-Fi. Now it shows that we are online, but we have yet to configure our Wi-Fi network. So just tap on configure, give your Sterling Wi-Fi a name, and put in a strong password. Tap on submit, then give your router a minute to apply the settings. When we're done, we can connect to our new Wi-Fi network, and just like that, our Wi-Fi setup is complete. But as you can see here, there's an update pending. So what we need to do is tap on install now, and download it right away. During the update process, your Sterling will reboot, and it will start searching for the satellite. And as it states here, this may take up to 30 minutes to stabilize the alignment. So just be patient and give it all the time it needs. Then it will say online. Right after this, what we need to do is tap on alignment from the bottom. You can see it's not aligned correctly right now. Before realigning it, let's do a speed test. Look at how awesome the animation looks. But as you can see at the bottom, we are only getting around 50 to 60 upload or download speed, which is nowhere near the top speed. So now let's go back and fix the alignment. The awesome thing about it is it's real time. So let's go ahead and loosen the upper knob and then we will follow the direction and rotate our antenna. And on the app, we can see that it's moving. And there you go. We are inside the box and it's glowing which means we're aligned. Okay, now let's go back and run the speed test once again. This time we got almost 300 Mbps of download speed, which is right on point. Let's also run a speed test by going to fast.com. 
And when you're satisfied with the network speed and you know that you're getting the highest possible speed, at this point you're ready to attach your Starlink dish permanently to the place.